Hey there, good looking, welcome. Hey, today's workout is my guns and buns workout. So you're going to need a pair of light and moderate dumbbells. So fives, eights, eights and tens, that sort of idea. All right, let's go. Hello there, hey, welcome. I'm PJ from Fitness with PJ, and today I'm doing a voiceover of my guns and buns workout. Yes, I had no idea that my mic did not work for the entire workout, so you are left with me voicing over my buns and guns workout. Now, you are going to need a pair of light and moderate dumbbells for this workout, and maybe some water. And I think right now I'm saying let's get busy. Get those feet hip width apart and arms extended out. Push your bum back, come up off the heels. When we push the bum back, we keep those knees behind the toes and we keep those arms a level with the ground. So they're reaching forward, warming up here into the ankles, knees, hips, and then in the upper back a little as well. Now I'll do my best to try to coordinate my voiceover with my moves. I may be off by a second, <laughs> so bear with me. Yeah, it was, uh, oh, now we're going to lunge back with the right leg and kick it forward for the hamstring stretch. When we lunge, that front knee stays lined up with the ankle. We lean back into that back foot so that we really drop that back knee down and open up that hip. Yeah, it was a bit of a bummer to plug this workout into iMovie and just hear crackle. No voice. So I'm uh, throwing away that mic. <laughs> This is the second time it's done it on me now. All right, let's get the other leg. Here we go. Step back with your left knee to the ground. Front knee lines up with the ankle. Kick it up. You got it. Really nice warm-up drill right here. Getting into the hip and then into that hamstring as we swing the leg up. And that posture, staying upright, baby cakes. Don't lean forward. Now, it's too bad that my commentary as I was doing this workout is never going to be released because when we get near the work at near the end I've got a couple of surprises for you by the way um, yeah it, it's pretty entertaining so I will try to be just as entertaining on the voiceover all right let's get set up here with big hip openers and we're alternating I know it looks really funny let's get the arms out of the way hands light behind the ears but we need to warm up the hip joints since that's the muscle group that we are going to be targeting right into that booty there nice and big open All right, arms down, get ready. We're gonna bend the knees, walk out into a plank, tap the shoulder, and then walk back. 30 seconds of those. Here we go, bend the knees, walk out, wrists under shoulders, strong plank, tap each shoulder, then walk back. Be aware when you tap the shoulder too, you're not shifting through the hips. So just a little tiny shift, but your core is fired up there, girl. This is a great warm up for core, upper body, legs as well. It's almost a bit of a workout, isn't it? Keep going. And one more, I think I said. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, no, I didn't. We're going to keep going. There we go. Shake it out. Now, if you need a sip of water, now is your chance to do it because we're going to start our first series. Now, our series is split up like this. Two different exercises. One for the guns, one for the buns. And... Uh, the second one into the booty. Anyways, you've got three rounds of those, 30 seconds on, 10 second rest in between. Starting with your moderate pair of dumbbells. Get yourself down into a bridge position. So we're gonna go down onto the ground. Feet hip width apart. Starting with a tricep extension, extend the arms straight up. So keep the bum on the ground on this one. Arms are gonna go straight up so that the wrist elbows and shoulders are all in one line. Now keep those elbows in line with the shoulders, 
bend through the elbows and drop those dumbbells down, lower I should say, not drop, and extend back up. Careful of your head when you do that, all right? Now your second move, pull the toes up, load those dumbbells now up on the hips, and we're lifting the hips, and then we're gonna lift up just a bit higher. You wanna think height here. So really engage those glutes, lift and bridge as high as you can. We have three sets of those, 30 seconds. Get yourself set up, ready, go. Here we go, elbows in line with the shoulders. Drop the dumbbells and extend. Hitting the back of the arm here, baby cakes. Tricep extensions, breathe. Last 10 seconds. Your bridge is coming up next, loaded the hips with the dumbbells. Time. All right, here we go. Load the dumbbells and load them near the hips, not the belly. You want the hips to take the weight. Now squeeze the glutes, lift up, toes up, and lower up and down. Good. So height here, really push through. Try to get a little higher. See if we can get the knees and the hip bones in line. Hopefully you can hear my timer on this end. I'm pretty certain you can. I've got it coordinated with the timer that we've got on the film there. Almost finished your first set. In 10 seconds, we're moving back to those tricep extensions. Time. All right, bum down. Let's get those arms in line. Elbows in line with the shoulders. We're gonna keep them in line with the shoulders. Bend those elbows and extend. Go. So this one is really easy to let those elbows shift forward and back when you do the extension. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it, man. Keep those elbows lined up with those shoulders and you will work those triceps even harder. Last few reps here, moving on to our bridge in four seconds. Time, all right, load the dumbbells. And again, loading more on the hip, right? Not the abdomen. Toes up, so we're really pushing through the heels and let's try it, here we go. Bum up and down. Height, remember height, squeeze that booty. We need a strong rear end. We need a strong rear end for not only to look good in our jeans, but for sport, for movement, for strong core, strong knees even. Time. All right, we're on our last set. Here we go, triceps. Get those hands, elbows, shoulders in line. Bum on the ground now. Now drop the dumbbells down and extend. Get the top of that dumbbell head to hit the ground. So you're really bending those elbows, encouraging a full range of motion in that tricep. This is kind of interesting, sit in here watching me exercise. <laughs> Last 10 seconds. You should be feeling those triceps by now. Time. All right, load those dumbbells up on the hips. Pull those toes up, keep those feet hip width, and here we go. Squeeze the booty, lift the hips up high, and lower. So in any of the workouts, maybe make note, if you don't feel the muscle we're targeting, next round or next time you do the workout, up the weight there, girlfriend. We need heavy enough weight to stimulate that muscle to break down so that it rebuilds in the next 24, 48 hours into stronger, denser tissue. And that is how we get strong. Last couple of reps here, we get a mini break in three, two, one, release. All right, grab a sip of water. We're gonna be standing for the next grouping of moves. We will still need these moderate dumbbells though. So our first one is a row and curl combo. So we wanna get into a bicep curl or a hammer curl and then hinge from the hips and do a row and curl. Now when we hinge through those hips, neutral spine. So you're gonna hinge from the top of your thigh. See where I'm pointing there? Push the bum back, neutral spine. So maybe give it a try. Place your hands just at the top of your thigh there. 
and then drape your body over your hands by pushing your bum bat, back pardon me, and then up. Slight bend in the knee. That's the safest position for your low back when we do hip hinge. So remember that. Keep that core and don't do that. Keep that core strong. I think I'm saying right there, if you want to round your back, go for it. You'll just be sending your physiotherapist on the next Hawaiian vacation. <laughs> so instead, you and I, we're going to do a hip hinge. Now our next move after that, stationary lunge. So dumbbell in each hand, lean back on that back leg, give me a lunge, and then bring the back heel and curl the heel up to the bum. So you're balancing on that one leg while we do a hamstring curl with the back leg. 30 seconds that, and then... We do 30 seconds on the other side. Ready, set. Starting with that curl, row combo, go. Here we go, curl. Now hip hinge, row, squeeze the shoulder blades, up. Curl, hip hinge, pull up, squeeze the shoulder blades. You got it, looking good. So continue with this, focusing here on the bicep muscles, back of the shoulder. Get ready for your lunge. Time. All right, step back with the right leg. Dumbbell still in your hand, lean back into that right leg. Now drop down into a lunge and as you lift up, curl that back heel towards the bum and lower. It's a little harder when you do it slow like that. And then pick up the temple once you've got that form. Now your back stay neutral here, so when you lean forward, keep that neutral spine. Front knee lines up with the ankle. Time. All right, here we go. Left leg back. Let's start with the lunge and then kick up. Good, dumbbells in hand. So the hamstring on that back leg is getting a double whammy workout. So it's working as we lunge down. So it's working through the hip there. And then when we come up and do a hamstring curl, it's working through the knee joint. Last couple of reps, and then we're into round two with the row and curl combo. Time. All right, feet hip width apart. Strong core. Start with that row or bicep curl, whatever you want. Whatever's gonna work best for you. Just remember that hip hinge, that neutral spine. And again, like I said last exercise grouping, if these aren't heavy enough dumbbells, hey, we still got one more set. Go grab some heavier. Time. Last rep here. Beautiful. Step that right leg back. Dumbbell still in your hand. Drop back into that back leg. Lunge and then curl. Last 10 seconds. Time. All right, left leg back. Lean into that back leg, get that posture, lower down into your lunge and curl that back heel up to the bum. Last couple of reps, and then we'll head into our third and final round. Time. All right, here we go. Row curl combo. So start with the feet hip apart, hip width apart. Soften the knees. Hip hinge, row up and curl. 
collapsing over, right? So we're hinging from the hip, not that low back. Last one, release, right leg back, get set up for your lunge, down, back leg curls up, go. Last few reps here. Come on, bump it, bump it. Time. Get ready, set, and lunge down. Curl. Take a peek on that form too. We want that front knee to stay behind the toe box. Last rep. Time. Nicely done. All right, grab a sip of water. We're moving on to a new series of moves. Now this next series, you're gonna want your uh, moderates again. We're gonna do a regular bicep curl now, and then push the dumbbells up above the head and finish off with a regular bicep curl. Okay, so no hammer curl. Second move, curtsy lunge, step across the midline of the body, feet together, do the same leg again, so 30 seconds each leg. When we cross over the midline of the body, we hit a lot more glute. You ready? Regular bicep curl to press, go. Palms facing me, and then press up above the head, and then palms facing me when you lower the dumbbells back to a straight arm. So this is a nice one. We're gonna hit the biceps, shoulders, and more triceps. I love hitting triceps. Now I'm talking a lot here, so hopefully I'm not saying anything too important for you. <laughs> Who knows, I quite, I had actually verbal diarrhea on this workout, so it's probably nonsense. It's probably a good thing, time, that the voice didn't work, the mic didn't work. All right, here we go, let's take that right leg, step across the midline of the body, drop the right knee down to the ground, feet together, same leg again. So crossover lunge pattern here. So yeah, we're hitting thighs. Yeah, we're hitting into the um, core with this, but we are also getting a ton of glute on that left leg. Now, if these dumbbells aren't heavy enough for you, guess what? We're at the top of round one. You can pick some heavier dumbbells. Time. All right, get yourself set up. Left leg steps behind the midline, nice and tall on the body, and go. Now once you step across the midline of your body, think about bringing that back knee down to the ground then. Feet are staying fairly close together when you go back to your start pattern. And you got a lot of core, like I said. When we're working with dumbbells, your core has got to be fired up, right? You've got to hold yourself upright. Time. All right, bicep curl to press, palms facing me. Curl, press up, and release. You ready? Let's go. Now I'm gonna be completely honest with you. My glutes were trashed for about three days after this workout. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, <laughs> but you know, after a few days, I want you to come back to this workout and leave a comment below. Let me know how your glutes are feeling. Last rep, then we're moving into curtsy lunge. Time. Right leg. Ready? Pull those shoulders back and down. Step across the midline and lunge it out, baby. 
This is actually the first heavy glute workout I have done in two months. Um, I've been hiking a lot, haven't been lifting weights as much as I should be. So me being crippled for a few days after this, I totally deserved it. <laughs> totally deserved it. Last few reps here. Time. All right, let's get that left leg going now. Round two, go. Drop it down, body upright. Yeah, I went on a lot of hikes and dragged loving husband with me and uh, he was exhausted. He had a week off. We had a week off together. We hiked a few times and he messaged his uh, assistant who sets up all his uh, work times for him and said, please send me back to work. She's killing me. <laughs> Big wimp. Last few seconds. Time. All right, here we go. Last round. Bicep curl. Palms facing me, remember. Curl and press. Now, the reason I'm asking you for your palms to face me on this one is because we did a hammer curl on the previous move. So we've got two heads in the bicep. Hammer curl hits one head and works the other one, but main, main focus on one head and this hits the other head. So we're just getting a, more of a balanced bicep curl here. Last few reps. Get ready for our curtsy lunge time. Right leg back. And go. Last 10 seconds. Time. Okay, left leg, ready. Smiles on, go. Back knee to the ground. While we're lunging here, let me talk to you about a really cool group I've got going on. You might not be aware, but this channel survives by the donations of a really amazing group of women on Patreon. And through small monthly donations, we're able to keep this channel alive and they in turn get perks. So check it out. I've got the link down below. And time. All right, last grouping of moves and then we get my bonus exercises. Grab a sip of water. Now on this next guy, you can go light or moderate. Totally up to you. Look at me yapping away there. Absolutely ignorant. That mic is not working. All right, we're going to start with tricep kickbacks. So we need that hip hinge, just like we did last move or the moves before that with the row. So hip hinge, and you're gonna hold that hinge position parallel to the ground. Now bring the upper arms parallel to the ground and kick back, bringing those dumbbells towards the uh, shoulders and kick them back. Then bring the dumbbells up, sink down, and get into some really awkward looking move here that I call my duck walk. Yes, it's super awkward looking. However, it works like a hot dam for your legs. Three rounds, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. First move is kickbacks. Ready, set, and hip hinge. Elbows up, kick back. Now it's important we keep the upper arm parallel to the floor. So really try to keep that elbow and shoulder in one line. And this is what's gonna get those triceps even better. And then that hip hinge, so there's nothing in the low back. So if your low back is starting to ache, I want you to recheck your form, fire up those abs a bit more. All right, bring those dumbbells up to the shoulders. Give yourself some room. We're gonna duck walk forward three or four steps and then back. 
Here we go. Step forward. And then back. So they're not big steps. Kind of shifting your weight side to side. Toes are turned out. Staying low. In fact, actually, if you want to go a little longer, you can. If you want to go six strides. I think I can only go about four or five or I'm out of frame. <laughs> Last couple of seconds, then we're moving on to round two. Time. All right, here we go. Get set up. Feet apart, knees soft. Give me that hip hinge. Now elbows up, lined up with those shoulders, and kick back. So focusing into the triceps. Last couple of reps, moving on to duck walks. Time. All right, dumbbells resting at the shoulders. So let's start with the feet apart. It's almost like a, a sumo squat. Then drop the tush, and now shuffle forward. It's the most ridiculous looking exercise ever, isn't it? <laughs> oh, lucky you, you're just doing it in the comfort of your living room. <laughs> here I am, here, out on YouTube. Hello. Look at me, duck walk, yeah, I know. You know, the shit I do for a good looking tush. Yeah, and I'm dragging you with me. Last couple of seconds here. Time. All right, kickbacks, last set. Knees soft, that's important, okay? Now, give me that hip hinge. Elbows up, and you are good to go. You should be feeling those triceps. And if you're saying, where's your triceps, PJ? Then you're not feeling them. You should be feeling the back of the arm right now. If you're not, heavier weight. Quick, you got 20 seconds. Grab them. Last few seconds. Duck walks coming up in three, two, one. All right, dumbbells up. Feet wide, toes turned out. Let's drop the tush, and now let's duck walk it, baby. Let's duck walk it like we've never duck walked before. These are the most sexy looking duck walks you can ever do. Oh yeah, work it, work it, baby, work it. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm having fun right now. Uh, I was not having fun on this workout though. And this isn't actually what killed me. This bonus exercises we're about to do in a couple of seconds, that's what effing crippled me. Time. All right. So I'm about to let you know right now, hey, guess what? We have bonus exercise. Yay. And I think I even said something cocky like, I'm not even going to charge you for these. Ha, 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 ha. Now I'm explaining what we're going to do. We are going to be focusing first on the guns with a tri or, um, shoulder press ladder drill. So focusing on the shoulders and the triceps. Great move. And if you haven't done a ladder drill before, awesome. Stay ignorant, baby. Stay ignorant. All right, so grab your light dumbbells. Trust me on this, all right? Feet hip width apart. We're pushing the dumbbells straight up, but we're doing it on my count, starting with one rep, rest, and then two reps, rest, and then three reps, rest, all the way to 10. But we're going on my count. Yes? Yes. All right, dumbbells at the shoulders, core engaged, drop down on that back knee, ready, and one, rest. Now two, one, two, now three, three, two, one. Moving on to four, here's four. Three, two, one. On to five, five, four, three, two, one. Should be feeling it now. On to six, six, five, four, three, 
two, one. Woo, change legs, little break there. We're moving on to seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, baby. Now we're moving on to eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoa, oh, look at my face. Oh, yeah. Now we're moving on to nine. Get yourself ready. Ready. And nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Well, I missed one. Hey, PJ. What's going on? I have no idea what I'm saying here, except probably I'm exhausted. All right, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Oh, I know what happened. <laughs> this is when I forgot <laughs> what count I was on. And we did a lot more reps than we were supposed to. Here we go. 8, <laughs> 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, one more. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this. Okay, now we're on 10. Technically, we were on 10 a long time ago, but now we're really on 10. And I think right now I'm apologizing profusely because I forgot where we were. 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, baby. That was good times, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, so we did the ladder for the guns. Now we got to do a ladder workout for the buns. Still keeping a dumbbell, your light one. I'm going to grab a mat. You can grab one too. Now, we are taking it into a glute kickback. We want to lock that dumbbell behind the left thigh. Get down onto the forearms, elbows under the shoulders. Flex that left foot, knee underneath the hip, and press the dumbbell up. Now, we're doing the same thing. One count, and then two count. All right. I think we already started. One, two. Three. Well, it didn't really give me much time to get us ready. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Now we're on five. Five, four, three, two, one. Moving on to six. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, butt's feeling it. Here's seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Moving on to eight. I think I'm dying right now. How are you? <laughs> Here we go. And eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Mini break. I think we're going to get going though. We've got nine now. Ready? And nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew! All right, just 10 to go. Hang in there. I, I feel your pain. Trust me. I was with you. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
One, we did it. And I think right here I said, how about we do the other leg next week? <laughs> uh, just joking, we gotta get it done, we can do it. All right, we've gotta get that dumbbell behind the right knee now. Saying a bunch of stuff here, not a clue what, but here we go. We're starting. Dumbbell behind the right knee. Drop down, core tight, ready, set, and let's go. One. Now for two. One, two. Now for three. Three, two, one. Get ready for four. Four. Three, two, one, and five, four, three, two, one. Moving on to six, six, five, four, three, two, one. You should be feeling it now. Little breath, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! We are almost there. <laughs> Moving on to eight. Come on, PJ. <laughs> eight, there we go. <laughs> seven, <laughs> six. Five, four, three, two, one. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoa, we're almost there. We're almost there, 10 reps. Just tell your glutes, 10 reps, that's it. Ready, set, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, and that is the ladder drill that crippled me for days. Sit back on your heels, give those glutes a stretch. They deserve it. Give that low back a stretch. Arms extended, ah, we did it. That is so cool. Your buns and guns workout. Now let's stretch out some of those buns and guns muscles, huh? Yeah, let's start with hip flexor stretch. Take the left leg forward and then lunge forward so that ankle and knee stay lined up. Interlace the hands behind the head. Drop your head into your hands and lean back so your chest and collarbone and gaze is up. Now to further this stretch, we can contract that right glute so that leg behind you. Give it a good squeeze. And now bring the hands beside the foot. Scoot that leg behind you further. Come on to the outside of that front foot. Left hand on the knee, gently give it a push and look over that left shoulder. Release, let's do the other leg, step forward. Right leg steps forward, lunge forward. So I got that knee and ankle in line. I'm going to contract that left glute and then interlace those hands behind the head again. Allow the collarbone and gaze to look up. Squeezing the glute, releasing the hip. Nice deep breaths here. Bring your hands the inside of that front foot, scoot your back knee further behind you, and then roll on the outside of that front foot. Right hand on inside of right knee, look over that right shoulder. And that left wrist is right under the shoulder. 
opening the hip up further on each side actually and release now let's take that right hand behind the head guide the hand down the back with the left stretching into the triceps and into your lats and if sitting back on your heels like I'm doing is uncomfortable for the knees just sit cross-legged or stand whatever feels comfortable for you other arm You can even add a little lean away. You'll get more stretch there into that uh, muscle grouping around the armpit. Release. Have a seat on your bum. Extend your legs out, getting into the hamstrings. Press the knees in towards your mat. Extend your back. You want to look up and then reach forward. Oh, look at me and my lack of flexibility. Oh, my goodness. Okay, note to self. And be working on some more yoga poses just breathe sink into it try not to round your back too much okay so you're, you're really trying to lead more with the chest and if you can grab your toes go for it I can't without losing my posture totally so I'm grabbing onto my ankles and just look above the toes don't let the head drop just breathe into it Release, bend the knees, take the right ankle, cross it over the top of that thigh, and then step the right foot in towards the bum and press yourself forward. So you're going to feel that all in the hip there. So this is a seated figure four stretch. And if you want, you can rock the leg side to side, kind of flossing into that hip joint. and release it out let's do the other side press yourself up towards the shin and then the closer your foot is to the bum the deeper your stretch is and floss it back and forth release now let's bring the legs wide get into hamstrings as well as your inner thigh now you're going to extend your legs out and then pull your toes towards your shin reach up look up and forward drop again we're trying to move through the hip joint more not the upper back and yeah i'm talking about having the toes drop forward we want to keep the feet active i hope you enjoyed this workout hope you enjoyed the voiceover it won't happen again well I shouldn't say that <laughs> never say never anyways thank you so much for joining me I really appreciate it and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and click the notifications on so that you know when we release a workout and then if you'd like to support the channel and get some free perks while you're at it you can head down into the patreon group the link is below thank you so much we'll see you next workout